Hello, 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 it's Stephanie at The Deeds Group. Uh, thank you for tuning in to the longer version of our market update. Let me just give you some more details, okay? So in Tarrant County, we've seen a little bit of a reduction in our sales price. We've seen a little bit of an increase in our days on market. Things are moving just a little bit slower. Keep in mind, we're in the fall market, so that's not real scary. Also, the number of homes for sale has reduced as well as the number of closed sales has gone down. So really, it's just a general slowdown in the fall market. Still a great time to be selling. There's a lot of homes that are going under contract really quickly. Um, a lot of good movement is still happening, but overall in the big scheme of things, we are seeing a little bit of a slowdown. Um, that's happening across the market. We're seeing reduced sales prices. So we did see a little bit of an decrease in Ellis County, but across the Metroplex in Johnson County and Denton County and Collin County, we did see some increases as well. Um, like I mentioned in our intro video, we are seeing a days on market increase, okay? So things are taking a little bit longer to sell. But again, like I said, you know, we're not taking 100 days, we're not taking 150 days. I mean, there was a time in this market where it took six months to sell your house. It just did, that was the reality. But right now, you know, an average of a month or so is really not bad. So we're we're still in a very, very fast moving market. Some would call it chaotic. <laughs> it is a little bit, a little bit overwhelming for buyers and sellers right now. So like I mentioned, homes for sale as well as closed sales, that has reduced across the Metroplex. We are seeing smaller numbers of houses listed as well as smaller numbers of houses being actually closed on. Now, this doesn't concern me necessarily because this is kind of an annual thing. It happens every fall. So home sellers will say to me, well, isn't this a bad time to buy? There's not as many buyers in the market. Well, that might be true. There might not be as many buyers. However, I just told you we've seen a reduced number of homes for sale. So your sellers are decreasing, but your buyers are decreasing. So the ratios are still working out. It's really not a bad time to buy or sell. The holidays do not make it a bad time to buy or sell. Your house decorated for Christmas might be the best it ever looks. So keep that in mind. So I will be coming back at you next month to let you know what happened in the month of November. Are our decreases continuing? or things starting to pick back up and we'll see uh, what's going on in our month of Thanksgiving. I will be coming back at you next month with your November statistics to let you know, are we still seeing some decreases happening? Are we having some increases come back up or is that gonna wait until the first of the year? Come back next week to tune in and I'll let you know. Thanks so much, see you soon.